Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Serena. Um, so this is my first YouTube video and I kind of wanted to do like um, a no makeup makeup look or at least my version. I'm not a beauty guru or any sort. I'm not good at makeup at all. But um, I don't know, I just thought it would be a fun video for a first one to post. So right now I'm kind of looking at, I already have all my makeup like set out on my, um, what is this called? Makeup stand? I don't know. Um, vanity, that's what it's called. On my vanity. And I also kind of have like, I found like on Google, like some questions about myself that I can just like talk about just so at the same time, you guys can like learn a little bit about me as we're going throughout the video. So yeah, um, I just have to clip my hair back. Oh, and by the way, behind me, I have my mirror. So if you see me looking around, that's probably where I'm looking. So usually I just clip these hairs back. So that way they're like out of my face and I can apply my makeup. Okay. And then I also wanted to mention, so I don't use foundation. I just don't like the feel of it. It feels like, especially because I live in Florida, whenever it's hot out, um, it just feels very like cakey and too much and my face just doesn't feel good at all. So I only use just concealer. And this is the Born This Way one, but I just put it like in like certain places that I just want to like cover and then I just like, you guys will see. But anyways, I just wanted to put that out there. So let me start off by applying this first. Okay, so, and then I already wet my beauty blender so I'm just going to dab this in really quick before I like to do it before it dries too much because I don't know I feel like once it dries then it kind of like leaves creases like I always get creases right under like my eye right here um and I know like you're supposed to use um like a powder like a, a loose powder but I don't know, sometimes it, I just feel like it doesn't help. But anyways, so yeah, now I'm just going to dab this in. And then kind of try to blend it down into these other places where I put the concealer so that way it doesn't look like I just have, you know, blotches of um, concealer around my face. Um, I guess I just searched on Google like just random questions. Um, so they're just kind of like all over the place and like random, but um, I thought it would be more interesting and fun than just me explaining what I do because I'm not a beauty guru so I don't know what I'm doing I'm just doing what I do <laughs> what works for me so so what does my name mean so um as I said before my name is Serena and um I actually have like a little picture frame somewhere in my room I'm not sure where right now but um it told me or it tells me um what the meaning of my name is so I thought that this would be a fun little question but it actually, it comes from the name Sarah, um, S-A-R-A, -A, and it just means the princess who laughs. <laughs> I thought that that was a really cute meaning. I know my mom has always um, told me ever since I was growing up that she really took into consideration like the, the meanings of my name and I have a sister too, so my sister's name and she didn't want them to just be a name or something that we could make we could potentially get made fun of for she just wanted unique pretty names that had good meanings to them i guess so um it means a princess who laughs um so yeah 
Um, and then I guess um, another question going off of that that I had um, wanted to talk about was what my parents were going to name me um, before they decided to name me Serena. So um, my, I can't remember if it, okay, so really quick, I'm going to use now this translucent powder from Wet n Wild. Um, it's the Photo Focus. But, um, so anyways, um, I can't remember who liked this name, if it was my mom or my dad, to be honest. My mom has told me this story so many times, but I, I just really, I can't remember. <laughs> but one of them really liked the name Yasmina, I believe. It was either Yasmina or Yasmin. Um, I believe my mom picked my first name. So I think it's my dad didn't like Yasmina or Yasmin as for my first name. And so my mom decided to pick Serena. And then because she picked my first name, my dad um, wanted to pick my middle name, um, which is Nicole. And he spelt it a little bit different. Um, I know most Nicoles are spelled N-I-C-O-L-E, but my middle name is spelled N-I-C-H-O-L-E. Okay, and then after I normally put on my powder, I usually do my eyebrows which people who are makeup gurus, even for them, sometimes it's hard to do eyebrows on camera. Um, so I'm going to try, but I might end up having to do it off camera and then come back and go from there. Where am I from? So I know earlier in the video, I mentioned that I do live in Florida. Um, I live near like um, Tampa. Some of the biggest are like Orlando, Miami, and Tampa, and I live in Tampa. It was actually, fun fact, where the Super Bowl was, if you guys um, did watch that. Okay, I'm back. So I always feel like after I do my eyebrows and I have nothing else done, I feel like I look a little bit crazy and, you know, the eyebrows look like a lot, but I swear it gets better. Okay, so I used... The Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. Um, I believe it's the number four one that I use. So um, that's what I used. And then after that, I think I normally do add some bronzer. Um, let's see. Okay, so, so another question that I wanted to talk about was um, some of my best characteristics. So... I really feel like I like I don't want to like hype myself up but I really feel like I don't know like I feel like my best characteristic is how um thoughtful I am of you know or considerate I am of others feelings and um kind of like I'm, I feel like I'm always thinking of others that's what I'm trying to say so I feel like that is my best characteristic, but also um, it's kind of my worst because I feel like I'm always so like, it's so easy for me to get hurt by friends or past relationships or, you know, any sort of relationship because I feel like I'm always expecting, um, the same that I would give to, to others. You know, I'm always expecting that same back. And not everyone, unfortunately, can or will give you exactly what you give to them back. So I feel like that's something that I've always struggled with um, while I was growing up. And even still now, it's it's very hard for me to sort of find friends that I feel like we're the same in that sort of way. I feel like this looks like I'm doing so much, but like here in my mirror, like it doesn't look that bad. This side looks a little bit crazy. Just bear with me guys, okay? My biggest accomplishment. So actually right now I am a senior 
in college and I'm majoring in behavioral health care and also getting a minor in um, applied behavior analysis. So actually this past December, if you guys know about applied behavior analysis, but if some of you do, um, one of the first certification levels that you can get is called um, an RBT, a registered behavior technician. And you have to take an exam for that and you have to get, you have to pass a competency test and you have to get like a certain amount of supervised hours um, before you can even take the exam. Um, so I, in December, took the exam and passed and then I actually got hired with the same company that um, I did my internship with to obtain like my supervision hours and stuff. Um, I got hired by them for a paid position as an RBT. My biggest fear, I forgot to mention. So for my bronzer, I used the butter bronzer by the Physicians Formula. And then um, for my blush I'm doing now, um, I used the Maybelline Fit Me. Or the Maybelline, is it the Fit Me? I don't know. It's the Maybelline Fit New York blush. Anyways, um, so I guess for the short answer of what is my biggest fear, um, cockroaches. I live in Florida, so we get a lot of palmetto bugs and cockroaches from like the palm trees and stuff. And some of them can fly. I'm always so confused on which ones can fly, if it's the palmetto bugs or like the cockroaches or what, but some of them can fly and they literally chase you like around the house. Like it's absolutely terrifying. Um, or I know um, maybe like a bigger fear of mine. And I kind of like put this all over my nose a little bit too, but um, a bigger fear of mine, I think would probably be just like ending up alone, like dying alone, I guess. Um, it's kind of sad to think about, but I mean, who who wants to die alone, you know? Like, I don't know, I think that's terrifying and I feel like it's good to have people in your life, whether that's, you know, your significant other or friends or family. I think it's very important to have and be surrounded by people that you care about and that care about you, so. Who is my favorite celebrity? I'm gonna answer it as that it's um, a YouTuber. So my favorite YouTuber is um, Bramfam, uh, Bramty. She's actually, I don't know if she's from Florida, but I know she lives in Florida. And um, I always see her like posting and um, like on her stories, like around where I live. And it's, it makes me so mad because I literally like, I would, I would be there like at the same place that she is like the day before or like a few days after. And it's just like, I always miss her and I want to meet her so badly. You guys should look into her channel if you don't watch her already because she's absolutely amazing. Okay, um, what do I do after, what did I just do, my blush? So normally I think I do eyeshadow. So actually I take again a little bit of my concealer and then I kind of put it right on my eyelids. And then take my beauty blender, kind of just like dab it into my eyelid. I don't know about you guys, but me, I have like a very veiny face. So especially my eyelids, like I know I don't wear foundation, but like my eyelids need to, to have like some type of concealer or something over it because if I don't, I feel like it just looks so bad and gross. I don't know. I usually use like two different palettes for my favorites. So I have this Morphe one. Um, it's the 25B, the bronzed mocha. Um, and there's like, cause I usually wear like nude colors or like neutral. Sometimes occasionally here and there, I've been wearing like pinks and stuff, but I usually wear like browns and nudes and stuff like that. So, or Madison Beer palette. So this one has like, again, like a lot of like nudes colors and like darker pinks, I guess. But 
I don't know, I like them. So I usually you pick between these two palettes what um, what eyeshadows I wanna use that day. So I use this brown right here. I wish I had the name of the colors, like the names of it, but I don't. So anyways, I use this like brownish, lightish brownish color. Um, I just put this in my creases. What is my favorite childhood memory? So I thought that this one, this question would be really fun to do because I came from um, Newport Ritchie. That's where I originally, I lived there till I was in sixth grade and then I moved to where I live now. And the one thing that I always remember having the most fun over there was literally they have these parades um, for like different holidays or different um, like little occasions and stuff. Like um, they have the Chasco Fiesta parade. And this parade, I just remember, like my house was literally in walking distance of where the parade was. Like we would just walk right like a, f a few houses down and then the parade would be like right there. And I just remember like being so excited with my little sister and just like, finding or catching like all the beads and the candy and then afterwards me and her would like trade beads and um we would have like my mom would have all her friends over and there would be like all little kids too like our age like and we would just be running around and it was just we had a huge backyard and like a play set and a trampoline and it was just such good like vibes and I literally anytime I ever think of that like I always miss that time I guess of when I was little and we would just like go to parades and trade beads and it was just all fun and games you know um so I think that would definitely be my favorite childhood memory my favorite food okay so food is a big thing for me like I love food I am a big foodie I feel like I will literally eat anything but I would say that my absolute favorite food like something that I can eat literally every single day is definitely like hibachi like Japanese food with the chicken and um the fried rice mm. chef's kiss it's so good I can literally eat it for the rest of my life like I literally just had it like right before I started filming this video um, so now I think I'm going to do, hmm, should I do this pink color? Okay, yeah, so I think I'm going to do this little pink shimmery color that's underneath the brown that I just did up here. I did this one, so now I'm going to do this. Um, and then I just put this right on my lid right here, if you guys can see that. And I just add some of the sparkles there. Is that even pink? I don't know. And then after I do this, I usually take this other brush. Okay, and then I blended that in a bit. So then I'm gonna take some more and do the other eyelid. So what is my favorite music genre? Honestly, I listen to like everything. Drake, Kehlani, like basic music. What is that like hip hop, R&B, um, which I love too. Um, and Spanish music like Bad Bunny and um, Carol G and all those people. Uh, but I also love listening to country music. So I know not everybody likes country music hate it or love it um but I personally like it I haven't been listening to it as much as I used to I feel like I used to listen listen to it like a lot more um and I would even go to country concerts like pre-covid um 
but I don't listen to it as much. But once in a while, I will listen to it and like I absolutely love it. I think my favorite country artist is, um, I would say Jason Aldean. So after I do my eyeshadow, hmm, what do I do next? I think I normally do, I add some highlighter. So for highlighter, I don't have one. <laughs> I just use eyeshadow. So I use like this little mini palette. Um, it's the, I don't even know what this is. La Bomba. I don't even know where I got this from, but I've had it for like years now. And I just use this one shade right here as like a highlighter. Um, and I kind of just put it right on the tip of my nose. and on the bridge of my nose a bit. After that, I usually curl my eyelashes. So, okay, what was my favorite TV show as a child? I think definitely like That So Raven um, and Courage the Cowardly Dog was like some of the ones that I like really liked um to watch like on the daily and honestly oh and Hannah Montana how can I forget about that Hannah Montana was another good one I still remember to this day like the very first time that I saw Hannah Montana on tv like the first episode and I was like what is this show like I've never seen this before but I ended up loving it oh the mascara that I used too I actually just got this because I saw it on TikTok but um it's the Maybelline New York Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara so I did have um eyelash extensions for like the longest time and I really enjoyed them like I liked having them but I know the longer that you keep them on the more that they'll like ruin your lashes your natural lashes so I kind of feel like my eyelashes I used to have such long ones the only reason that I got eyelash extensions was because my eyelashes I felt weren't full they were they were long but they just weren't full so that's the reason why I got them and I loved them for when I had them but I felt like I really wanted to give my lashes a break and try to like maybe grow them out um again to what they were before so my lashes are pretty tiny right now but anyway so I got this um mascara in hopes that it might make them look a little bit longer I try so hard not to get it on my eyelid and I still always do okay next question um Am I a dog or a cat person? Let me just start this channel off by saying I do not like cats. If you're a cat person, good for you. Because cats, I don't know what it is. They always like me, but I'm literally terrified of them. I don't enjoy them rubbing up against me. I don't like it. I don't know why they like me. Um, I find it terrifying, I think they're um i think what scares me the most about them is that they have claws and like they just dig them into you like at random times like i don't know if that's just me or if every cat does that but i'm definitely more of a dog person i absolutely love dogs oh, i just clip my freaking eyelid I have always loved dogs. Um, I grew up with dogs. Um, my boyfriend has dogs of his own that I absolutely love so much. And I've just always been a dog person. Dogs over cats any day. Who has left the most impact on my life? I feel like everyone has. 
I feel like everyone that comes into your life at some point is going to impact it in some way, whether that's in a good way or in a bad way. And I feel like every single person can do something for you and they're there in your life for a reason. Wow, that was really scary. <laughs> uh, but they're there for a reason, you know, everyone enters your life for a reason. And yeah, so I feel like there's not one person that has impacted my life. Also, something that I don't do anymore because I just don't like the look of it and it's, I find it hard, is I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes. I just find that it's, um, I don't know. Oh, there's I just find that it's like it like gets on the bottom of my eye and then it just ruins the look and then I'm just annoyed and yeah I could take a q-tip and just like dab it away but I don't know it's just so much more work than it needs to be and I just like how it looks without it anyways okay so now I take highlighter again or the eyeshadow that I use as highlighter and I kind of just put it like on the sides right here you can see like right by my eye and I just put I don't know a good amount however much I think I need and then I do the same on this side okay, let's put on some chapstick so I just use I don't have big lips as you guys can tell so I don't like to like line them and do them, which I guess makes no sense because when you line them, it makes them look bigger. But I don't know. I guess it's just because I can't do lips. Like I just don't know how to do it. It just looks so bad. So I usually don't ever wear like lip gloss or anything. I just wear chapstick. But I mean, it makes them look glossy. It keeps them moisturized. So Okay, BRB. I'm going to go get a Q-tip too sort of clean this excess of, um, what is that called, mascara. BRB. Okay, I'm back. As I was in the bathroom, I was looking at my eyebrows and I need to fix this piece. My under eyes, like I mentioned before, started creasing already. I literally don't know what to do for that. Like if anyone has any recommendations, maybe I don't put enough powder enough of this translucent powder like under my eye or something but i feel like my eye just always creases under there and it just looks so like ugly and annoying Ugh. okay so i took off the mascara that was up here so i think i'm basically done so now the setting spray so i used the um the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Spray it all over. And this stuff works so good. I feel like my makeup, oh God, I got in my mouth. Oh, my makeup stays for so long. I love it. But I know a lot of people use it, so I'm sure you guys know that it's good. Or you've tried it at some point, I'm sure. Let's get one more question out of the way here while I take out my hair. Um, so who was my first boyfriend? Um, so my first boyfriend is actually my current boyfriend. So I actually met him, I think our two years is coming up. So I've been dating him for quite a while now. Um, and before him, I had only ever talked to guys. I never really, you know, went through the, the um, I guess the official dating phase. Like it was just like going on dates and talking and then it would eventually end um, after a few months. So my boyfriend now is my only boyfriend that I've ever had. Oh, my hair is a total mess. Let me get some earrings too to show you guys my full look but this is kind of my no makeup makeup 
like earrings always add like that little you know to like the look i guess so let me get some earrings okay so i'm back i got some earrings um i just grabbed like some little gold hoops i just feel like earrings add like like they make the makeup look better you know the look look better and that is the final look well, thanks for watching guys if you guys um enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up i hope that you guys enjoyed and i'll be back with more videos